This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. This is one of the most important enhancement matches in Jim Crockett history. Mm -hmm. Tully Blanchard in his brand new robe with JJ in his corner, Pee Wee as our referee. And on the other side, a singleted mm. Ray trailer. We yeah. saw him before with just the short tights. Now he's out of the top. And this is going to be the match that gets the big boss man a job. Yeah. I remember this day. As a matter of fact, tell us about it. Uh, dusty said afterwards, he said, man, did you see that guy? Ray trailer? He said for a big guy, he can move. There's something, there's something we can do with this guy. I remember distinctly him saying that. And I remember thinking as the match was going on that, you know, this guy's pretty damn good. You know, it's, it, it's it, when you got it, it's really apparent. And, uh, so this, yeah, this is a match that actually made him big Bubba. Yes. And, this is going to make him big Bubba. And of right. course, without the success of being big Bubba, he wouldn't have become the big boss man. Right. I mean, this is the beginning. This is his breaking out point and the finish is fucking spectacular. I really like this. And by the way, you're doing some commentary here. Let's uh, let's track it. We already approximately 30 seconds into the match. He's taken a man that is probably six foot six, six foot seven, 325 pounds at least. And by taking him off his feet, height no longer becomes uh, an advantage. You're right about that. He took him. Well, it wasn't the segment I was hoping for, but mm. he starts applying a little, uh, the foot submission mm. and it, it looks like he's setting up like an STF or something. Right. He's not, and he can't exactly do exactly what he wants. And you sort of explain it, but I like what they're doing so far. It looks like a shoot. Sure does. Love this. It it's, I've talked about the hook. You, you watch this and you say, I mean, you saw that last guy who was a fucking lug. We've seen a couple of lugs with Baron and with barbarian. You look at those say, ah, fuck, but you look at this and you think, Hey, this is uh this is a real yeah. wrestling match. We got going on here. Yeah. Yeah, good. I mean, see, he's trying to get up. Yeah. And there you go. I talk about that. Try to get up. Don't just lay on the canvas. Try do some movement. I mean, that other guy. Here even, it is. Here's the segment. Now Dylan concentrating on what is taking place in the ring. Obviously, when you have your favorite maneuver, you have to adjust for different people. Think about now the, the Midnight Express is to bring up uh, two guys or either Bobby or Dennis who really adapt their favorite moves to their opponent. I mean, that looked real. Everything we just saw. Yeah, right. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some theatrics in it, but it's much closer to amateur wrestling than anything else we've seen on the show so far. Sure it is. And he became, you know, obviously he became a major star. I mean, the big Bubba Hulk Hogan run or, I mean, boss man, Hulk Hogan run was a big one. And what's, well, what's so amazing to me is, I mean, listen, I love the big boss man. It's one of my favorite characters ever, but he's just mm -hmm. a big fat guy here. He's yeah. not presented as being special in any way, but his work stands out enough, especially with what he can do at his size that you're like. Well, we need to do something else with this guy. Yeah. And then you yeah. change the presentation. You put him in a suit you put him in a tie. You put that black hat and the shades on him. Now he looks like a badass. Yeah. Or you put him in the whole prison guard outfit. Boys and girls. Look at this. Up. Oh my. Blanchard got him up. And he's going to pin him. Did you see how fucking pumped Tully was? That yes. That move. Mm -hmm. That was real. Yeah. His excitement over nailing that route. By the way, what we just saw was a slingshot suplex finish with Tully Blanchard slingshot suplexing Bubba over the top. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And here he is. Jim Cornette was out here and we said, Hey, Jim Cornette has been levied a fine of five thousand dollars, which really does not bother him monetarily wise in the least. But we understand from Mr. Jim Crockett Jr., president of Jim Crockett Promotions, negotiations have been going on, meetings have been going on all week to possibly get that racket that, is, as you know, was instrumental in them securing the World Tag Team title championship and that racket suspended from professional wrestling. And we'll talk more about that later on. A couple of more things I'd like to address right now. As you know, speaking of tag teams, 
Jim Crockett Memorial Senior Tag Team Tournament for the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup is coming up very soon. We're going to bring Jim Crockett in here to talk about that, but also to talk about a trophy and a, a brand new belt that has been given to none other than the world heavyweight champion, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. I have seen the belt. As you know, Ric Flair is the heavyweight champion of the entire world. And this belt is certainly a magnificent trophy for only one man who is the world heavyweight champion. Jimmy Crockett, I have seen that belt. It is gorgeous, that belt that Ric Flair now has. But what we want to talk about is the tournament for the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup. A lot of places are bidding to get this tournament. I know all across the world, Tokyo, Japan, one well, of them. Well, you know. The, the purse has been set at $1 million. It's the first ever tag team tournament ever sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance. And we at Jim Crockett Promotions are very proud and honored that they named it uh, after my father, Jim Crockett Sr. And I think that the NWA uh, should grant Charlotte, North Carolina, the home of Jim Crockett Promotions, where Jim Crockett got it all started, to be the site of the Jim Crockett Memorial Senior Cup or one of the two great star case cities, Atlanta or Greensboro. And I, I personally believe that's where it'll be. Well, we do know that uh, bids are coming in from all over the world to host the tournament for the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup. And as Jimmy said, hopefully uh, for Jim Crockett Promotions, it will be in either the Starcade cities or in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you very much, Thank Jimmy. You, Let's go back to the ring. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.